I'm going to share with you the top 10 tools that you're going to need to start your model railroad. So let's get started with this right now. I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. Now the top 10 essential tools that you're going to need is coming right up right after this. If you would like to see more videos like this on model railroading for beginners, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell. And that'll notify you whenever I have a new video coming out. In a previous episode of Model Railroading for Beginners, I went over a vast number of tools that you will need to build your layout and, and on the workbench also. So this is the 10 most essential ones that you're going to need to get started. So here we go. Okay, there's actually more than 10 tools that you're going to need, but I'm putting them into groups of tools. Like I'm not saying that a hammer is one of the top 10. In fact, it's not because I don't want, I, I don't even use a hammer on my layout at all. But there's ball peen hammers, there's jeweler's hammers, there's claw hammers, there's, uh, sledgehammers or two pound sledgehammer there's all kind of hammers but i'm just saying that you could group uh, you know a particular tool and have a variety of them but the first thing that we're going to talk about is a number one some type of bench bench work a workmate some surface that you could use to put your wood on sawhorse there you go you need a stable platform to work on even before you start your layout. Now I see many people trying to, you know, cut their wood and everything else. They got it propped up on the edge of a stool or something on a chair. You could do that, but you, you're asking for problems there. You want a stable workplace to do it. Anything that is sturdy so you could put your wood on there and work on it from there. Number two, is a power saw. It could be a jigsaw. It could be a circular saw. It could be a table saw or it could be a miter saw. It doesn't matter just as long as you have a saw to cut your wood. I cut my wood. In fact, I used one by fours and I ripped them with a jigsaw before I had a circular saw because my circular saw went and so all I had left was a jigsaw and that's before I bought my miter saw that I have sitting on the floor right here. But you want some kind of power saw to work on your wood to cut your wood effectively. And number three, clamps. Clamps and more clamps. You can't have enough clamps. You could have 10 clamps and one day you're gonna say, I need another clamp for what I'm doing. Clamps are a very important thing for building your model railroad and you're going to need as many clamps as you can get as you can afford. So don't think that you have four clamps or five clamps. I have a whole stack of clamps right here and I'll show you them right there. I got these. I got some other types of clamps. Any kind of clamp or even a bench vise will work in the category of clamps. Number four, you're going to need some kind of a square, whether it's a carpenter square, it doesn't matter what kind of square, but you're going to need something so you can make your corners on everything that you make perpendicular to each other at a 90 degrees. Squares are very important and you need them. No matter what kind you have. Number five, you want a measuring tape. And here's one from Heckinger's. They went out of business a long time ago. They were up in Maryland. But anyway, a measuring tape or a ruler or some kind of a scale. It doesn't matter, but the more the merrier. But you, this is the most important thing for measuring out. You want those eight foot, you want those 10 foot long pieces of wood that you want to cut for down to a precision figure, you're gonna need a measuring tape, a ruler, 
some kind of a ruler, some kind of a scale. And there are many types out there, and I'll show you some different ones right over here. Number six, a level. Everything has to be level to start out with. Your bench work has to be level. Everything that you work on has to be level. And then you go from there to make your different levels on your layout. So levels and levels. But it can't, you know, it could be a short one like this. It could be one that you put on a string. It could be a long four foot one. They even make them six and eight foot long now. But make sure you have a level. And from that level, you can measure angles on it too and i'll show you some other levels number seven there we go you're going to need some kind of a drill preferably a cordless drill no not this kind of cordless drill but this one will help and even down to a pin vise you can consider that a drill cordless drill here with drivers and bits drill bits an assortment of drill bits I have an assortment of dr drill bits here, and I have an assortment of drivers in this one here. It's good to have them. You're going to need them. And this is the first cordless drill. And I have an L brace also. I have, a, in fact, I have a couple of braces if you know what that is, that what they are. Number eight. This finger I can't get up straight because of arthritis, but number eight right here wire strippers they make an assortment of wire strippers this is one that goes all the way down to 26 gauge wire they have them that are bigger with a blue handle that has different wire sizes on them and they have the automatic ones where you put the wire in there and you go whoosh, and it and it strips the wire strips the insulation off the wire you're going to need them for when you are wiring your layout so that's a vital tool that you're going to need there Number nine, you're going to need a multimeter. Now, it doesn't have to be a fancy one like this. It could be an inexpensive one, but just as long as you have, can do voltage, DC, AC voltage, and ohms on it, and have one where you could have a audible sound for continuity like that. That's all you need. You're going to need one of these and this is going to come in handy and you're going to say this is the most valuable tool that you ever got once you start wiring your layout. And number 10, this is a small tool, but this is a very vital tool if you're doing N scale or HO and these are the rail cutters. Now, you're going to need this for every piece of rail that you have, especially if you're doing flex track on your layout. You're going to need these to fit them in between your turnouts on your layout. So this is number 10. And a bonus, this is not an option, eye protection. You need eye protection whenever you're using any kind of power tool. So don't forget it. It doesn't have to be this kind. It could be the high fashion ones. Where, but since I wear glasses, I got to put these over top of my glasses. So eye protection, that's the bonus. And that's the most important one there. All right, those are the 10 most essential tools for your layout. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on there that you that's going to say, oh, you forgot about this or you forgot about that. Or I think this one's more important than this one. And that one's more important than this one. If you have 25 modelers, you're going to have 25 different answers. And so those are my 10 essential ones. If you have 10 more essential ones, Put it down in the comments. After all, this is model railroading for beginners. So how else are the beginners going to know what they're going to need unless you and I tell them what is the most essential tools that they're going to need to build their model railroads. So put them in the comments down there. I'm sure you will. But put it down in the comments if you think there's something more important than those tools right there. And I, and I encourage you to talk about it down in the comment section also. So, 
I want those 25 modelers with their opinion to put their opinion down in those comment sections right there. Because I know you're out there. And I hope you enjoyed this version of Model Railroading for Beginners. I'll have, I have them coming out every month. And next month is March. And we'll have another one coming out there. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to keep it a surprise. So check out my other videos. On Monday we have Shout Out Monday evening. On Wednesday we have another video on how to do something on your model railroad and also on Saturday morning we have that coming out and once a month model railroading for beginners so we'll see you.